Hey, Motor Man here. Listen, I like the Ultra Brace so much that uh, I decided to get one for each of my bikes. I have four bikes, four t uh, tour packs total, so I purchased three more. Yes, I got a deal because I bought three of them. But uh, they, they've upgraded some of the things, and I know that the, on the last video I did about this, the, the sound was way too low. I didn't realize that because when I played the video back, I listened to it through earphones, so it sounded fine to me. But I understand some of you got mad with my free video that the sound wasn't loud enough. So this time it is going to be loud enough, and I'm going to go over. The installation is pretty simple, pretty straightforward. First step, you want to take the backrest off. That's the backrest right there. There's three bolts. Take that off, set that aside. Second step is we're going to measure from here to the center of the tether here. Whatever that distance is, about eight inches, I'm gonna measure the same thing on this side over whatever, eight, eight and a half inches, seven and a half, whatever it may be. I'm gonna put a mark there and I'm gonna place one of the backing plates there so I could drill the holes. Okay, I've made my marks. The bracket is gonna go one inch down and eight and a half inches from this edge to here. So now I take the bracket, place the bracket right there, and drill my holes. Not brain surgery, pretty easy and straightforward. All right, I have the bottom bracket installed, and the top of this bracket has a, oh, I guess a five degree offset on it. This is the top one, it's got a larger offset. And this is where, you know, I've heard the people say, well, I could buy the stuff and do it myself. Yeah, you, you could do something like this, but I guarantee you're not going to be able to offset these brackets exactly the way they need to be to make this open and close smoothly. So here's the inside of it. There's the outside of the bracket. Once the backrest is put on, you're not even going to see that, but that's the outside. And I showed you the inside. Now I'm going to go to the top. Top's pretty much the same thing as the bottom. I'm going to measure from here over to the center and get that bracket positioned exactly where it should be. All right then, it's installed. It took a total of about 20 minutes and, you know, did it by myself. Uh, second hand would have helped you because the, the screws are kind of small to, to hold up. But I, I got it done. It took about 20 minutes. Uh, this is the new upgraded one. It allows you to adjust how much it opens. If you want it opened all the way, pull it straight out. Now it's locked. Press it down and you can adjust how far you want it opened. There's the top bracket right here. Bottom bracket here. It's a pretty easy install. And for those of you who are saying that $79 is too much, well, if you think about this for a minute, let's say you go to uh, uh, I don't know Lowe's or your local hardware store and you buy some type of a hinge and some kind of a bracket and you again you're not going to have the offset exactly the way they do here since this is machined uh, so it's not going to open up and close as easy as this one but let's say you do that and it takes you uh, well from your house to the hardware store to find the stuff you need as two hours and maybe you're, you're worth 20 bucks an hour to yourself to your time so that's 40 bucks plus it's got to cost you about ten dollars I would imagine at least to, to get the stuff so you're up to 50 bucks and then you don't have any instructions or anything to go by so it's going to take you a couple hours to install it that's uh, another 40 bucks so uh, are you are you ahead of the game by, by making one yourself of course if you don't feel you need something like this well you know don't buy it it's but I see people buying a little piece of chrome for $125 that serves no purpose at all in fact most people won't even notice that you have that piece of chrome on there so I think seventy nine dollars it's that's fair uh, like I said I've got now a couple more to install because I got a total of four motorcycles I'm gonna put it on all four of them I like the product and let's see here we go that's eglidegoodies.com tell a motor man sent you I don't know if they'll give you a break or would you say that they might charge you more but Tell them I sent you.